Working for you. CBS 6 News at noon starts now. Thank you so much for joining us here at Midday. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our top story here at noon, Richmond police investigating a number of deadly shootings in the city. Four have taken place in just the last 24 hours, including one that claimed the life of a teenage girl Sunday on Southside. Gabrielle Harmon is live to tell us what she's learned about that case and a separate death investigation that's going on right now on the city's north side. Gabrielle. The holiday is right around the corner and in the past 24 hours, Cheryl, as you mentioned, Richmond police have responded to four shootings, two of them having victims pronounced dead at the scene. Here's what we know so far on Sunday around 1.30 p.m. Richmond police responded to a home on LaBrook Drive. That's where they say they found a teenage girl suffering from a gunshot wound. She was pronounced dead at the scene and earlier that morning and not too far from that location, police responded to a call about a car stopped at the light near Carnation Street and Midlothian Turnpike. Police say when they got there, they found a man inside unresponsive who had shot himself. That man was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries and this morning, Police responded to a call about a shooting around 459 this morning when police responded to the 2900 block of Walmsley Boulevard. Crime Insider sources say they found a person with non life threatening injuries and at 542 this morning, police responded to the 800 block of Cheatwood Avenue. Crime Insider sources say they are investigating a murder at that scene. We spoke to one neighbor there who says it's normally a quiet and elderly neighborhood where violence doesn't happen. And I'm surprised early this morning I was coming from the store and I was seeing all these police, the police presence, you know, and now we got a homicide in our neighborhood before Thanksgiving. That's not good. That's not good. You know, but whoever's out there and responsible for this, please uh, try to do the right thing and turn yourself in because everybody, we have families here. This afternoon, Richmond Police Chief Gerald Smith is expected to give an update in relation to the two shootings, the one involving the teenage girl that died and the man that police found unresponsive in the vehicle. Please stay tuned to CBS 6 for the latest on that update starting at 4 p.m. Working for you, Gabrielle Harmon, CBS 6 News.